Hi there, Scorpio. I'm Annette McKinley, and this is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. I'm here to do your love reading from now until the middle of November 2018. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm coming at you from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with um, everyone who uh, watches this. Um, so... Just keep that in mind, keep an open mind whenever you're watching tarot videos and know that the story can be flipped around and go either way. Um, <clears throat> this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Cusp, and Venus uh, between now and the middle of November 2018. If you'd like a private reading, the information is in the description box down below. Um, so we're going to get a general message overall, I guess, theme from the fortune deck. I'll be using the steampunk tarot as the main deck and then validating any major arcana cards with the uh, classic tarot which is a Marseille deck and then bringing in vintage wisdom oracle messages at the end. So this again is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, keep in mind your 30-minute readings are on sale until I think November 23rd. They're $10 off. Um, just make sure you send me an email and put um, Scorpio uh, birthday reading or Scorpio special in the um, subject line of your email, just so I know. It's for Scorpio sun sign only. Okay, so let's see what, what your main message is, what you need to keep in mind. For the next couple of weeks here. The dragon. Strength and wisdom. Beautiful energy. Strength and wisdom. The dragon. It's me slaying dragons. Very cool. Okay, let's go into the steampunk tarot and see what you need to know and love. From now until the middle of November, please. Spirit, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. From now until mid-November in love, please, Spirit. Scorpio. Love. Between now and the middle of November 2018. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Three of Cups. Six of Swords, Two of Swords, Page of Swords, lots of Swords here, Queen of Cups, The Devil, Judgment. And on the bottom, you have uh, death. Underneath that is the Four of Wands. Underneath that, you've got the Two of Pentacles. And underneath that, you've got the World. So I'm going to just pull those out. Death is the uh, face card here with the others underneath. So you got quite a few. you got mm, one, two, three. Three, four major arcanas showing up in your reading, Scorpio. So it looks like there's some changes and endings happen. Um, some cycles closing out. Um, some of you could be dealing with, a, with, well, Scorpio, you're in your reading here, strong with death here. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, um, or a Capricorn, or the period between now and the middle of January is going to be significant um, for some of you. So let's get into it. So your overall is the dragon, strength and wisdom. So it's very, it's good luck. So it's good luck. Um, you're going to be celebrating something, I feel. We've got the three of cups here. Water sign energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is celebration, reunions. Um, could be uh, a third party situation since we have the devil here in the page of swords. 
got the two of pentacles so it could have been juggling somebody else or you could be celebrating something maybe a birth of a child or um, a reunion a wedding proposal um, I feel like you're going to get some news about something here with this Page of Swords. Um, it might be third-party news, like through the grapevine or um, immature message, like through a text or email. Someone might be spying because they didn't have enough information to make a decision here with this Two of Swords energy. Trying to make a balanced decision, but they can't see because they're blindfolded and things are hidden. And they're kind of like trying to figure it out in the dark. They're like in the dark and maybe doing some research or trying to figure out because something's been bothering them and they just want to move on and heal and they want to put their mind at ease and move into calmer waters with the Six of Swords. But I see that death is coming in and changing something. And death, um, underneath death is the... Four of Wands. So I think this has to do with a marriage changing and transforming or an ending because someone might have been juggling or not getting anywhere or spinning their wheels in place with this Two of Pentacles energy or trying to multitask. But then, you know, this was this is an end of a cycle as well with the world or someone might be doing a lot of traveling, which might be you know, ending a marriage, or maybe you're moving, not moving house and moving somewhere else because someone has to travel for work um, and ending that. So it doesn't always have to be bad. This can be, there can be a lot of different scenarios here. You guys will know what your situation is, but there's something changing. I feel like it might have to do with the move because someone has to travel for work. Maybe they got some good news about a promotion or you need a bigger house because you're going to have another baby. Um, or you're going to find out maybe you're having twins. So this, is, this is a twin flame card here too. So someone might be finding out that they're going to have twins and they have to move to a bigger house. Um, but we've got the devil here and we've got judgment next to each other. So some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. Um, having to make a judgment call, um, maybe the devil is in the details. Maybe someone's afraid to make a judgment call because they don't have enough information to make a decision on anything yet. Um, but this is making a final decision. This could be toxic, um, anything toxic, fear, addiction, um, Betrayal can be karma, some type of karmic soul connection here, somebody coming back from your past, a karmic partner from your past, you know, a karmic cycle ending because I had the world here too along with death. Um, it can be anything, but someone might be afraid to make that judgment call. They don't have enough information yet, but things are going to change and transform. It might have to do with a family situation or, or home. Um, some, and we've got the Queen of Cups here. Trusting your intuition, water sign energy. This is you, Scorpio. Worried, which can create some toxic devil energy here. Worried about having to make a decision, but you don't have enough information. Spying, trying to figure it out. But things are going to change here. Um, so let's get some clarity into these majors here and also the dragon card. So I think you just need to be, be strong right now and just make some wise choices. Don't get your undies in a bunch yet. Do what you need to do once you get your all of your information. Why is the dragon here? Please clarify the dragon for Scorpio and love. Dragon is clarified by the Hermit. So I think you need to go within, do some soul searching. Could be dealing with a Virgo or have Virgo in your chart. Um, or it might have happened like between September and October. Um, you needed to go within to get strength and wisdom and do some soul searching. 
some time on your own. I'll clarify that uh, hermit card. Why is the hermit here with the dragon? Page of Cups. Water sign energy. Could be someone younger than you with water in their chart. Someone offering an apology or offering you something and you had to go within to see if, you know, this is something you wanted. Um, again, or you could uh, could have found out you're expecting another child. Um, next water sign would be in March, Pisces season. But someone's offering you something that you want to, that you, it seems like an apology for something. And you had to go within to get your strength and wisdom, see if you want to accept that or not. Okay, why is death here? Hanged man, Pisces. Something's changing and transforming. Someone might be going through a spiritual awakening, removing things that no longer serve them. Gaining some spiritual enlightenment. Things being put on hold while you try to get more information to make a decision. To see whether or not you're going to walk away from something, walk away from a home situation or move. I'll clarify that. Why is the hanged man here? You could be dealing with a Pisces. World. We got the world twice. This is ending something. This is an ending and closure of a cycle. Traveling. Maybe travel plans were put on hold or a move was put on hold. Why is the world here twice? Four of Cups. Um, taking a step back. Feeling dissatisfied and bored. Maybe feeling like you missed out on an opportunity in love. Dissatisfied, bored, feeling like someone's taking you for granted. But you want to close that cycle out trying to decide if you want to move on from this. Or you're not happy with your home and trying to decide if you want to build or, or buy something or move. Or travel plans being put on hold because of family stuff, possibly. It can be anything. Why is the devil here for Scorpio? Nine of Swords. Um, very stressed, anxious. Anxiety creates devil, toxic energy, fear. Somebody's not sleeping at night. You're wasting your energy. Worry is wasted energy. Someone's got anxiety. Someone may also have some mental health issues that they're not dealing with. That's creating toxicity. Judgment. Why is judgment here? If anyone's expecting a baby, too, I just got this message. If anyone's expecting a baby soon, you're worried about something. And maybe the doctors don't have enough information yet to make a decision or judgment call on what to do. I feel like some of you might be facing a C-section or there might be twins or a multiple birth situation. <coughs> judgment is clarified by the fool. Brand new beginning, taking that leap of faith, making a final decision and then Having a new beginning. Why is the fool here with judgment? <coughs> Eight of Pentacles. Um, they're, they're deciding to take a leap of faith and continue working on this. This is manifestation of something too. It's like someone's been working for the last eight years on something or last eight months on something. Um, maybe working on having a new beginning. Or they're, you know, ignoring stuff and just become a workaholic. We're starting off on a new job. Um, this is being a master of your craft. So it could be somebody would be um, offered a new job that is going to be better, which will have to cause someone to have to move house. 
So it could be anything. So let's get some messages from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle for you, Scorpio. Maybe you're worried about something and you're just going to say, screw it, you know what, I'm going to go for it. Just going to take that leap of faith, close out this old, out with the old and with the new is very much the theme of this uh, reading. But, you know, once you have your information, you'll be able to make some good decisions. So right now you just don't have enough information. You've kind of been going with it, but it's gotten to the point where somebody's so stuck up in their head and worried about all of this that it's becoming toxic. This could also be trying to decide if, you know, find proof of a third party situation, find proof that somebody's been cheating, which has been disruptive and maybe leaving the family behind, going off on your own, separating. Okay, can I get three messages for Scorpio and love, please? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Enchantment. Someone's been watching someone from afar. They find you very attractive and enchanting. This is a mermaid. Maybe a vacation's in order. Maybe someone wants to take a vacation. They just can't right now. Things have been put on hold. Or this could be a secret admirer, secret lover. Someone might be um, online viewing other women online. Some type of um, porn addiction possibly. Based on all the other cards I have here, which is causing some upheaval, but you're trying to get proof of it. Or you're spying, someone's spying. This is also kind of like spying, looking at someone from afar. So I feel like someone might be looking at other women or um, talking to other women online. They might have some type of internet sex addiction, which is creating upheaval with the family. And you're trying to get proof, trying, which would help you make a decision whether or not and I, or maybe you've caught them, they tried offering an apology, you've gone within, you're just like, you know, this is toxic, I don't know if I want to stay in this, you know, this person hasn't changed. Could be anything. Peace. Just want peace. You don't want any drama. You just want peace for you and your child. I also feel like Christmas time is going to be significant. This does remind me of Madonna and child. Jesus and Mary. For those of you who are Christian, but you just want peace. You didn't ask for any drama. Gentleness. I feel, I don't know if you guys are newlyweds and found out your husband is online talking to other women or you're engaged and you found this out. Maybe they thought you were naive and foolish that they could get away with it. Um, or someone's going to get proposed to and they're going to take that leap of faith and ask you to marry them. It can be anything. Like I said, there's different stories and scenarios here. You guys know what you're dealing with. Um, and again, if not, you might want to get a private reading that is focused on your energy alone and your situation because this is a very general reading. But... Um, yeah, and on the bottom I saw compassion. So I feel like someone's begging for forgiveness and you need to be gentle and compassionate. But also you need to set boundaries and not be a doormat and allow someone to take advantage of your kindness and treat you like crap and be stepping out on your family um, because they have an addiction that needs to be addressed. So... You need to, like I said, use your common sense and do what's right for you in the end, Scorpio. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got whatever messages you needed. Uh, and again, I'm available for private readings. Your readings are, uh, your half hour readings are $10 off um, through your birthday month. Okay, so take care. Thank you so much. Be the love and light.